Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about event-driven Ansible using Kafka as our source plugin. So I've got my solution architecture up here for this particular demo. And as you can see on the left, I've got a Python script called windmill.py, and that's going to mimic an actual wind turbine. And it's going to spit out data uh, that I pulled from a real Kaggle data set. So recording power output from a wind turbine over time. And it's going to publish that data to a Kafka broker and a specific topic called SCADA data, which on the consumer side, I'll have my event-driven Ansible rulebook, which is the, the new contract construct in Ansible for event-driven. And that rulebook will process the event and it has role, rules in the, the rulebook itself to, based off of the event's contents, decide which action to take. So I'm using the Ansible.eda Kafka source plugin. Uh, it's one of the out-of-box integrations. Um, there will be more to come. Uh, another common one is Webhook. Uh, in this particular case, it will take that message from the producer. And I have three rules here based off of the change in power output to determine which playbook I'm going to run. That's the action I'm going to take. Uh, that's likely a common action in event-driven Ansible, but there are other types of actions you can take besides just running a playbook. The other piece of my Python script is going to be writing the same data to a Prometheus metric just to visualize it in Grafana um, in my presentation layer here. You just give you an idea of what the data looks like that's being passed through. And then lastly, my action playbooks are actually going to be updating an indicator in the Grafana dashboard to kind of show how different playbooks can be running based off of streaming data. So let's see what I've got running here. Um, on the left, I've got Zookeeper, which is going to monitor my Kafka cluster. And then on the bottom, I've got my Kafka server that I've started up. Uh, and I just use the Apache Quick Start docs to, to do this. And then on the right, uh, I've already gone ahead and created the SCADA data topic on this Kafka broker. Um, what I can do is I can also start a CLI consumer. And that will allow me to visualize the data here as well. Um, the last piece is going to be to start my Ansible rulebook, which will create another consumer to that same topic. And as uh, events are published to the topic, you'll see the rulebook execute as well as see it pop up in the CLI down here. So as you can see, there's no messages coming through right now. That's because I'm not running my producer script. So if I come over here, I'm going to run my wind turbine script. I'll come back to the terminal and you'll see data coming through. Um, the rulebook doesn't process the first one because there's no change. But as you can see, now, once I get a piece of data with a change in kilowatts, the rulebook is executed. And what it's doing here is it's going to process the event. Um, it's going to use the change in kilowatt property to determine uh, which playbook to run. And the various playbooks are going to do different things to the script on a dashboard. So the middle and the far right pane are just showing the data itself. But on this far left pane is where you can see the rules and logic in action. So it just swapped from green to yellow. That's because the change in power between the two readings was different. Um, and now it's even greater than 150, so I've got a red alert. And this is just one way that I'm showing you how you can leverage the logic uh, to process the event itself and the contents. Um, the end state of this is probably not just going to be some indicator on a dashboard, but it might be running a playbook to, let's say, turn off turn off a device or you know maybe you have a message coming in that a device has run out of memory and you may have a downstream playbook that goes and uh, extends the disk size for that particular machine. So I hope you enjoyed this demo and it's generated some ideas for you. Um, definitely take a look out there. There's a lot of good documentation on event-driven Ansible, especially after Summit. All right, thanks for joining.